made it back to the train station and I grabbed my tickets. Hopefully I have time to go and get uh, a bento box. Got my ticket. I gotta put it through this thing. I'll put it in the right way. Yeah. All right, apparently you don't stick your card through that machine. So the alarms went off and apparently I'm just to walk past the guy in the booth and show him. Especially when I have that card. So I'm on uh, 15. I'm gonna try and buy a bento box on this platform. The bed be ones, I just passed one downstairs and the food looked good down there. So I've got time. I think I got 20 minutes. Unfortunately, I missed the train coming in when I was getting my food. But uh, my train leaves at 11.03. It is 11. No, that can't be right. Oh, there's the time. So I got like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna try and see if another train's coming in so I can at least get the footage of the train entering the station. And that's another thing, uh, is they let everybody off the train. Once they're all off, then these people, they go on and clean the whole train. It's cool. time 
Hiroshima, but I didn't stop here. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try and get to my hotel. It's about a 15 minute walk. And uh, yeah, let's get some exercise. I'm staying at the Osaka Garden Place. Let's go, a lot of people. This place is just as big as the Tokyo station, it seems. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. This is crazy. Oh, there's a 7-Eleven. Um, uh, I'm gonna find the north entrance, if there is such a thing. There's a south entrance, and, or south, south exit, and a central exit, so I think I'm gonna have to go central. They let me um, get in my room, that would be great because I can dump my stuff there. If, the, if I can't get in my room, they'll probably hold my gear in their lobby like they did the last place. So I can start investigating. Osaka, I didn't think I was going to be here this early. I thought I was going to be here later on tonight. So, more to do. So I made some type of judgment call in error doesn't make sense to me at all because I know which way is north and it, I went out the south entrance or I was trying to get to the central entrance and then it got to the point where it was taking me way away from the station and basically this is north <coughs> and I'm supposed to be on that side of the station so now I gotta climb these stairs lovely stairs with all my gear <sighs> here we go Really? Pizza Hut, little delivery cars. As you can see, it's telling me to turn right. <laughs> and I don't have to go up and over these tracks. I have to go down underneath the tracks, across the other side. Lucky me! Down the stairs, and under the, and through the tunnel. And through the Lincoln Tunnel. This is it, Garden, Osaka Garden Place, banquet and restaurant. Let's go in, check it. All checked in, I'm in 11.26, but I'm not sure if that means a floor 11. Doesn't look like, didn't look like this one up to floor 11, but it does. Ooh. Looks like it does. Huh. I also get two breakfasts with it, seven till 9.30. I'm gonna have to get up extra early. Two days are gonna be in this room. Ooh, that's a good view. That is much better than the last hotel. Oh, oh, oh. oh there's that building. It's like a got a bridge between the two buildings. That is gorgeous. Alright, so let's open this up more. Let some light in. So I got a little mirror here for some reason. I'm not sure 100 percent why. Okay, lights. Nice. Oh, we got USB charger. Good. One thing I noticed on the train, I completely forgot that my laptop, I bought my laptop uh, adapter 
uh, just for the laptop here in Japan. So I got to plug that into the train and uh, got to work on the train with the with the video, which was great. Uh, and that also clicked that that has also two USBs on it. So I'll be able to use my laptop as my charging station uh, instead of buying a converter. I still want to get a converter so I can plug in <laughs> my whole big charger or con uh, adapter charging station that I bought for the specific reason, bringing on these little adventures. So looks looks like we got like either a humidifier, dehumidifier, could be a cooling unit. I don't know. You guys let me know what the hell that is. And then we got a little mini fridge. <gasps> we got water. I need water badly. We got a little kettle, a little tray of, oh, that's nice. It's not just a shelf. That's a great idea. I love it. Uh, nice bed, looks comfy. Let's see, you can put some stuff there. Probably like a temperature control unit. Ooh. Ah. I thought the washroom was over here for some reason. This looks like a closet. Washroom. Ah, much nicer than the last hotel. Wow. This is really nice. Oh, we can wash our bum. That's nice. We can dry our bum. Cool. I don't, oh, that's for, uh, I guess if it floods in here, it goes out that, I believe. So, we've got the mechanical toilet. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. Ooh, what is that? Oh, shower cap, I'll need that for my hair. My face, my face hair. We've got some towels here, towels there. I uh, hope they have the same kind of, that's, I guess that's interesting. Toilet. Oh, this is what I was telling you in the last place. They'll use that for the shower, uh, sorry, for the bathtub and for the sink, which is great. Wait a, it's a great way of, to conserve equipment because it's like one thing and it does both. Uh, nice shower head. They always face it towards the wall, which is good. Very nice, clean bathroom. This is definitely a step up from the last place. And I think it was cheaper too. Uh, I locked out and found it. I think it was the two nights was $200 Canadian. All right, so made it to Osaka. I'm gonna unpack some of my stuff. Um, not do a fully on, full unpack, but I'll do un I'll unpack some stuff. And then I'll try to uh, think of the first place I wanted to go to here. I think I should go and do a food review as quickly as possible and maybe upload that as soon as I can and uh, make it not make it too complicated. So let's get that done.